Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Monday, August 15th, 2022. Let's talk about a betting opportunity I just became aware of that I want to share with you. Concerning the Usyk-Joshua rematch. But first, and listen to the words carefully, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, as I like to say, the boat is now in the harbor, right? Put differently, as famed investor Tika Tawari, look up his name, great crypto investor, likes to say, let the game come to you. Well, the game, in my opinion, one man's opinion, just has. What I want people to do, and I'm not telling you where to bet, just be aware of the bet. Right, right now on bovada.lv. Again, it's bovada, B-O-V-A-D-A dot L-V. They're offering a bet that help solve a lot of problems in terms of betting on the Usyk Joshua fight in my opinion. First, let me back up a second. What I want people to do is revisit that 12th round of the first fight. Folks, Usyk waits deliberately until about the last 30 seconds of that round. Then he shows you he shows you that at that point in the fight, he has a lot of gas left in the tank. And that if he wanted to, he could have gotten inside on Joshua and cuffed him around. Because that's what he does in the closing minutes of the 12th round. Joshua's desperate. He ends up over by the ropes. He's getting battered. He's fortunate the bell sounded when it did. Now, let me say on the AJ side of the ledger, AJ is a blessed puncher. He has brought into his camp Robert Garcia, who has trained some blessed punchers. We're hearing that this time it's going to be different. This time, AJ is not going to try to outbox Usyk. Rather, he's going to try to outslug Usyk. Right? That's the word that's coming out, right? Certain dignitaries, Carl Frotch, some others, Johnny Nelson are saying, look, you know, this time AJ is going to be serious. He's going to show us who the lifelong heavyweight is, right? Professionally, as a prize fighter. We also notice that Usyk is gaining weight, isn't he? Right? Suddenly, here's the cruiser not looking like a cruiser. As I've said many times here, Usyk physically is bigger than Sonny Liston. Right? I get the feeling Usyk himself believes he can end this fight by stoppage. Right? Now, understand, if Joshua comes out and tries to be hyper-aggressive in the first three rounds of the fight, that's going to drain his stamina. Right? I believe Usyk is going to fight this like he fought Tony Bellew. Right? He's going to have the beginning pass, then in the middle rounds he's going to assert himself. Look at the Bellew fight. There was no way that fight was going to go the distance. Look at how it ends. You'll notice Usyk has cut off the ring on Bellew, who's over by the ropes. Right? Usyk figured out in that fight he could throw straight lefts. Now, this is, to quote Shalimar, the second time around, right? The fighters know each other. There isn't the unfamiliarity. They're going to start this fight on at least second base. I believe this fight ends by stoppage. If you do, too, and that's a big if, if you do too. Be responsible for your own bets. 
right now on Bovada.lv, they're giving you the under 10 and a half rounds. In other words, the midway point of the 11th round at even money. Right? In other words, let's say you think Usyk wins the fight by stoppage. Let's say you don't like the line right now, minus 200. You're like, come on, man, I don't want to bet 100 to win 50. Folks, that problem's been solved. As I said, the boat is in the harbor. Right? Bet 100 to win 100. That's what even money means. As for the Joshua side of the ledger, let's say I'm wrong on this fight. Let's say Usyk doesn't win the fight. I believe for Joshua to win the fight, he's going to have to close the show. I don't see this fight going the distance without knockdowns, where Joshua is ahead on the scorecard. Sure, if Joshua knocks Usyk down twice or three times, okay, okay, those 10-8 rounds can add up in a hurry. Right? But understand, if Joshua doesn't get the knockdown, then I, I just don't see him outboxing Usyk. I don't see Joshua beating the now defending champion by decision. Understand, too, this fight's in Saudi Arabia. That limits the home cooking. So, I'm just sharing what I'm doing here. I want everyone watching this video to think for themselves because I need for you to understand the risk involved. When you take an under 10 and a half rounds, that means that you're looking at the clock during the 11th round. The minute it gets to the second half of the 11th round, you've lost. You know that 100%. It doesn't matter at that point whether Usyk closes the show or whether Joshua closes the show. That's the bet I like. The under 10 and a half. For me, the boat is now in the harbor. Right? They've moved off of Usyk at a minus 200. Plus, I get downside protection. If Joshua comes out and tries to channel Lennox Lewis against Andrew Galata, Mike Tyson against Marvis Fraser, if he comes out and he destroys Usyk, if he shows you that he's a two-handed, blessed punching heavyweight who's been champion twice, and if he closes the show, you're covered, as long as he does it before the midway point of the 11th round. With Usyk, I believe there are going to be some more tense moments. Let's say Usyk takes over the fight, right? Joshua comes out as aggressive. Usyk parries the aggression. Let's say Usyk takes over the fight. Folks, I'm just telling you that nothing is more nerve-wracking when it comes to betting than looking at two guys in the seventh round and wondering if your fighter can close the show before the over-under hits. Right? At that point, Usyk might have the fight won. He might know. Josh was too tired to beat me. Here's where you have to ask yourself, who is the guy? Is the guy a Billy Kahn character? who needs the validation of a stoppage? Or is the guy a play it safe type who's content going the distance if it means he wins the fight? Believe it or not, I believe that Usyk, who went the distance with Derek Chisora, who went the distance with Maris Bredis, Murat Gassiev. I believe that Usyk is a special talent, right, who in a fight like this is going to want to close the show. I believe he wanted to close the show against Tony Bellew. 
I believe here he's going to want to close the show. And he knows, he's seen Joshua hurt and out on his feet in two different fights by the middle of the fight. So, I like the under. Ten and a half rounds. I am astonished that it's that high with as high a payout as even money. That's the prop I'm taking. Let me hear from you. Do you see a stoppage in this fight before the midway point of the 11th round? If not, how do you see the fight playing out? If you do, tell us who gets it and why. But understand, when you have the under, right, you don't care who gets it. You only care when they get it. If either fighter gets it before the midway point of the 11th round, I'm good. If it goes past that point, all right, then it's a bloody mess. I'll take my chances. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Also, early on, when this fight was first released, I saw Joshua going off at a plus 170. Even though I don't believe Joshua wins the fight, I did grab a little bit of that action. Right, Joshua, at less than 40%. All right, I'll grab that. My expectation is Usyk probably by the start of the ninth round. Right, you don't gain a lot of weight unless you're planning to show some muscle. That's how I see it. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.